If you've watched my previous videos, this is a new variation function. This is a joint variation. I know that because of the word jointly in the problem. So the area A of a triangle varies jointly. So out of that, I pick out A varies jointly. When I see A varies, I know that A equals. It varies jointly as the base B and the height H. So what this means is in addition to it equaling that constant multiplied by something, that something is actually two variables this time, the base B and the height H. So A is equal to whatever constant you want to use. I'm going to keep using K times B times H. This is a joint variation because I have multiple variables on that right hand side. So I've got my function already. I'm told that A is 12 when B is 6 and H is 4. So you're always going to be given a group of numbers that go together. These three numbers go together. A is 12 when B is 6 and H is 4. After that, we're going to find B when A is 36 and H is 8. So with this first group of numbers, make sure you keep them together, 12, 6, and 4, I'm going to find K. That should always be your first step. Find the function, find K. So if you plug in your 12, your 6, and your 4 in their designated spots, then you can find K. So I'm going to multiply on the right-hand side. Six times four is 24. And now to solve for K, we're going to divide. And this is equal to one half, not two. I see it all the time. People just flip that in their head. I don't know why. 12 over 24 is 1 over 2. So K is a half. Which means our function is A equals 1 half times base times height. If you remember anything about geometry, this is the correct formula for a triangle. All right, so now that we have our formula, we're gonna actually answer the question. The goal is to find B, and we're gonna find B when A is 36 and H is eight. So the 12, the six, and the four, you're throwing out, you are not using them anymore. They have done their job. Do not mix and match numbers here. Now I'm going to plug in A is 36, H is eight into our new variation function that we found. So on the right hand side, I'm going to multiply the one half and the eight. Half of eight is four. And now to get B by itself, we're gonna divide by four. And we find that B is 9, and this problem was in meters.